guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Shim Reviews and I am back with yet another roundup. However, this might be one of my favorite roundups that I've done so far. We are gonna be talking all about the iFit programming. So specifically the iFit programming that is best with a couple treadmills. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know that I've kind of compared it to Peloton. Peloton is my favorite. However, iFit is a close second. Honestly, I think a lot of other programs fall short to the iFit programming. With the iFit programming, the instructors are high energy, the graphics are clear, the music selection is good, but most importantly, the training aspect that comes along with it is actually really beneficial to so many people. For anybody who is a beginner in their fitness journey, or for anybody who doesn't wanna come up with their own programming on their own, I think that iFit is gonna be a great solution for you. Now, iFit, like any other program, is a monthly or a yearly subscription cost. So the most popular option that people choose is $39 a month, and that is for a family membership that fits up to five user profiles. The other options are $396 for a family for a year membership or $180 for an individual year membership. Unfortunately, they don't have a monthly individual cost program. Before we get into the aspects of all the treadmills, go ahead, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything coming your way. Also, if there's any of the products that we talk about today that you wanna go ahead and purchase, use the link below the like button to do so. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission. Lastly, some of these treadmills were sent to us by the company, but we'll always be honest in our review, tell you exactly what we think, so let's talk about it. First off is the best treadmill overall, and that is the Nordic Track 1750. We love using this treadmill with the iFit programming. Personally, this is probably one of my favorite treadmills, especially the newer version. It comes with a 22 by 60 inch belt deck, which I love to see. It has a 3.5 CHP motor, so you're not gonna have to worry about any sort of components burning out over time. It's gonna be able to handle all of the walking, all the running, all of the sprinting that you throw at it. The other thing I love about this treadmill is that it has an incline and a decline feature. So it goes all the way up to a 15% grade for an incline as well as a 3% decline, which is just gonna blow up your posterior chain. I love adding in a decline feature. So for me, that is a huge win. Now, one thing I love is with the 14 inch touchscreen, it can swivel from side to side. So whether you wanna use that iFit programming on the treadmill, taking a running class, or go ahead and use any of their cross training classes like their strength training, Pilates, yoga, and so much more, you can go ahead and just swivel that screen to the side to be able to use it off the treadmill. Now, this is a larger treadmill, so keep that in mind. The overall weight of this treadmill is 340 pounds, so not the easiest to move around. It also can be folded, so it does make it a little bit more portable, but overall, I would say wherever you want to place this machine is probably where you're gonna wanna keep it. Next is our pick for the best treadmill to do a lot of walking on with the iFit programming, and that is the Proform Carbon T7. Now we have given this the best overall treadmill for walking for a couple of reasons, and we're gonna get into that. One of the things I really like about this treadmill with iFit is iFit actually has walking programs, and they take you through like different scenic views. So essentially you can like walk in the countryside of Ireland or something if that's what you wanna do, and it just makes it a lot more enjoyable. This treadmill comes with a 55 by 20 inch belt deck, which meets industry standard. For a running treadmill, love to see 60 inches, but I think for the purposes of a walking treadmill, Mill, that 55 inch belt deck is totally sufficient. Besides the decent sized belt deck, it actually is pretty soft in its cushioning. It does come with some technology that overall makes it a lot more stable, a lot more supportive of anybody so that you're not experiencing any sort of jarring or hardness on your knees, on your ankles, or if you're worried about any sort of joint pain, I do think the cushioning on this belt deck is pretty decent, although when we compare it to the 1750, it does fall a little bit short, but also the 1750 is over $1,000 more than this treadmill. The T7 does come with gas shock on the folding mechanism, which makes it incredibly easy to lower and raise that belt deck, especially if you're somebody who has little fur babies at home, if you have babies at home, if you don't want your toes to be crushed. I think finding a treadmill with gas shock in it is a must. I know for me, I wouldn't buy a treadmill without that gas shock lowering mechanism because of just safety concerns. Customers online boasted about the quietness of this machine. Now, when I compare it to other machines, I don't think it is the most quiet treadmill on the block. However, I also don't think it's the loudest. I think it's kind of middle range. 
and I think for the price point, it does a good enough job. However, I would be running in my living room with my kids napping in the next room. I do feel like it's loud enough that it would wake them up. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of on the T7 is the screen size. It's just slightly larger than an iPhone, only at seven inches long. So overall, if you're somebody who struggles with bad eyesight, I know for me, if I take out my contacts, I basically can't see anything. So I wouldn't benefit from something like this, but if you are blessed with 2020 vision, first off, I hate you. Second off, this might not be a deal breaker for you. Overall, for $1,000, this is definitely one to consider with iFit programming, good for walking and some jogging. Next up, if you are wanting to do a lot of running, check out the Nordic Track EXP7i. This treadmill is great for those who are wanting to incorporate a lot of running into their training routine. For only around $1,100, I mean, this machine is steady. We actually just did a full review on it that's coming out, so be sure to check below. We'll put a link so that you can see the full review if you're interested in that. 7i comes with a 60 by 20 inch belt deck, which is exactly what we like to see for anybody who's wanting to do a lot of running. It also comes with a 3.0 HP motor, which again is exactly what we wanna see for somebody looking to do a lot of running on a treadmill. You're not gonna have to worry about the motor burning out with the amount of volume you're wanting to throw at it, with the speed you're wanting to throw at it, or any aspect like that. One thing I think that is kinda unique about the 7i is that you can actually change the cushioning on the deck. So if you wanna make the deck thinner, it's actually gonna mimic what road running is gonna feel like. If you want to feel like you are running on a cloud, you can actually make the deck thicker in order to stimulate that movement. I know for me, I like a more cushion belt deck. That's not the case for everybody. I know for me, I would choose a softer cushion deck. But again, you might want something that's gonna mimic more of what a road running experience is gonna feel like. Now, just like with the T7, this screen is smaller. Again, if you have trouble seeing past like here, the print is incredibly small. I personally wish that it was bigger, but at the price point, I understand that it's nice just to have a touchscreen involved. Before we continue with our last couple of treadmills, let us know what programming that you have tried, that you have liked. Do you like Peloton? Do you like iFit? Have you used Explore the World? Let us know below in the comments which programming you prefer and why. Next is our pick for the treadmill with the best incline and decline features, and that is the Proform Pro 9000. With the Proform Pro 9000, it comes with a 12% incline as well as a 3% decline. Now, as you are following along with the iFit programming, it'll use auto adjustments. Essentially, your instructor is gonna program exactly the incline and the speed to whatever that program is, and you'll follow along with that. I love that feature, but if you are worried about it, if the intensity is too much, you can always go ahead and shut that off but I really like it because you can kind of just jump on your treadmill, get going without really any forethought into what you're doing. And it kind of makes it feel like a group class, even though you're by yourself. Now, aside from the stellar incline and decline options that the Proform Pro 9000 boasts, it also comes with a large 22 inch touchscreen TV. So unlike the EXP7i or the Proform Carbon T7, this has a massive 22 inch touchscreen TV which I love. As you're following along with the class, if you don't wanna have the class blaring over the speakers, you can go ahead, connect their Bluetooth to your headphones and use the class that way, which I love, it just gives you lots of options. Another nice thing is that the belt deck can be lowered and raised so it can be folded, it can be stored upright. So if you wanna go ahead and store this away while not in use, you have the ability to be able to do that. The other nice thing about this is that it has wheels both on the front and on the back, making it a lot easier to move around and a lot more portable. One thing to keep in mind, this is a large machine. It is heavier at 263 pounds. So just be aware of that. I think that it is much easier to move it around on a hard gym surface or concrete versus turf or carpet. Last but not least, the best overall high-end treadmill that comes along with iFit programming, and that is the Nordic Track X22i. Now, this is a massive treadmill, and the price kind of reflects it. It is $3,000, but it is a luxury treadmill. I mean, for starters, it comes with a 60 by 22 inch belt deck, which is one of the biggest belt decks that we see. The other thing is it comes with a 40% incline. So if you are somebody who's wanting to train for a big expedition, a big hike, or do any sort of hill training, I mean, this treadmill will get you there. Not only does it come with a 40% incline, but it also comes with a 6% decline. So if you are somebody who's really wanting to work that posterior train, or again, training for anything specific like downhill hike, a downhill expedition, 
this is the treadmill to use. Just like with so many other treadmills that the iFit programming has, it has auto adjustments, which again, the instructor will set exactly what you're supposed to do into the program and all you have to do is follow along. Now, there are so many cool features about this treadmill, but of course there are some compromises that have to be made. One, I know this is really minor, but I hate the placement of the cup holders. Essentially, the handlebars are in the way for you to easily access your water bottle. I hate that feature, I don't know why. Same with the placement for your phone. You kind of have to reach behind handlebars in order to access your phone. You're not able to really see your phone as you use the treadmill. So for me, it's just an inconvenience, but I don't like it. Another thing to know about this treadmill, I mean, it is a huge, massive treadmill and cannot be folded up largely in part to its 4.0 CHP motor size that just takes up a lot of room, but it's not something I would consider portable to say the least. That is it. That is our top picks for the best treadmills that come along with iFit programming. Let us know in the comments what programming you like the best and also out of the treadmills we've talked about today, which one fits your style the best. I'm still gonna choose the Nordic Track 1750. It's gonna be hard to beat in my mind. I just think that treadmill is so quality, but I'd love to know what you think. This has been Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews, and we'll see you back here next time.